Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Today our video about ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. In this video, I will talk about definition, epidemiology, risk factors, clinical presentation, pathology, ultrasound features, treatment and prognosis, complications, and differential diagnosis of ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. Definition Ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, OHSS, is a complication of controlled ovarian stimulation, which is an assisted reproduction technique used for in vitro fertilization. Rarely, it may also occur spontaneously in pregnancy. It consists of ovarian enlargement with an extravascular accumulation of fluid leading to variable weight gain, ascites, pleural effusion, intravascular volume depletion, and oligoria. Epidemiology The syndrome is relatively common, occurring in about 5% of patients undergoing in vitro fertilization. There is probably an even higher incidence of the syndrome in egg donors due to their young age, which is a known risk factor for the disease. However, there is a known problem of lack of reporting of such cases. Risk factors High baseline ovarian volume Background polycystic ovaries Low body weight Long ovulation induction cycle duration. Clinical presentation. The clinical picture may vary from abdominal distension and discomfort to potentially life threatening capillary leak with fluid sequestration in a third space and the massive ovarian enlargement, pain, abdominal distension, nausea, and vomiting are frequently seen as symptoms. Pathology Controlled ovarian stimulation is an assisted reproductive technique used to increase oocyte retrieval success and can cause ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. Ultrasound features Imaging findings tend to be similar on ultrasound, CT, and MRI. Ultrasound picture shows bilateral symmetric enlargement of ovaries, often more than 12 cm in size. Multiple cysts of varying sizes, giving the classic spoke wheel appearance. Associated ascites and pleural plus or minus pericardial effusion due to capillary leak may also be present. Treatment and prognosis the syndrome is usually self-limiting in most cases, and management is mainly supportive. However, cases with fatal outcomes have been reported. Severe cases require hospitalization and close monitoring of hematocrit, liver function, renal function, serum electrolytes, and oxygen saturation. The profoundly altered maternal environment of ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome is a significant risk factor for miscarriage, especially when occurring in the early phase after in vitro fertilization, defined as less than 10 days after oocyte retrieval. Complications Hypovolemic shock with resultant thromboembolic disease, stroke, Increased risk of ovarian torsion. Differential diagnosis. For ultrasound appearances in mild cases, consider polycystic ovaries, in which cysts are typically small, no ascites or pleural effusions. Number two, thecal uterine cysts associated with gestational trophoblastic disease. Some also considered a part of ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. Number three, myosinous ovarian malignancy.